can I be honest? Actually, let's just be so freaking for real right now, okay? Hear me out. So, I recorded this vlog in March of 2022, and it's just been sitting collecting dust because I was way too anxious to really put myself out there in that type of way again. To really force myself out of isolation and into the light of creativity and displaying the things I love the most, including traveling. The last few years have been a blur, honestly, for me and for everybody else. And I've just been sitting in my own thoughts and self-doubt but now we move, okay? We move. I am exploring my journey, embracing all the parts of me, walking in my purpose, and muting that voice in my head that tells me I can't. So I took a solo trip and it went a little like this. Okay, let's get this show started. Ah, I'm losing my fucking mind. Oh my God! <laughs> channel since at least last summer maybe last fall um honestly last fall because it was when i posted one of my going into my second year of school site videos i decided to vlog this experience because honestly just memories for myself um it still doesn't even feel real like, I feel like I'm very much still in shock, very much just maybe having anxiety attack every five seconds and I just can't tell. It really doesn't feel real. It's like somebody died. Somebody died. Somebody died. Somebody died. Um, right now, I'm in Cabo, San Marcos, Mexico, you know? If you know, you know how much I stand in love with Mexico, okay? Love Mexico. Thank you. 
I didn't end up taking a solo trip in 2021. Um, but um, another one of my things is usually if you have a New Year's resolution, you don't do it, you get discouraged, and you're just like, forget it, you know. But I was like, I didn't do that for 2022. I didn't even really write New Year's resolutions. I was kind of like, anything that I didn't do last year is going to roll over, and it's going to roll over again until I get it done. Um, but I did most of the things I wanted to do last year. Um, and... Yeah, it just became a goal of mine for 2022 to go on a solo trip. Um, so, originally it wasn't supposed to be Mexico, like I said, but I'm really comfortable being in Mexico for the most part, like, since I've been here so many times. Um, even though I've never been to Cabo, um, I feel like the amount of times I've been in Mexico, it, it makes me feel way more secure to come here for a first, first solo trip. trip. Um, originally, I was trying to go to Jamaica, like, really, really bad. I wanted to go to Jamaica. Um, but, and I'm not because I joined like this solo travel black woman solo travel group on Facebook and I would just hear some iffy stories about people that solo traveled to Jamaica I still plan to go to Jamaica but maybe just not by myself you know then I was thinking Costa Rica but then anyway I ended up in Cabo and that's just it is what it is so yeah so that's where we're at now so today um my travel day started super early right now it is 7:35 um Cabo time um p.m and i it's probably 9 35 at home which is probably why i'm a little tired because i'll be in my bed by now but i've been up since five in the morning um traveling getting up to travel whatever so i'm very tired it's oh, another thing i need to mention my resort um, so right now I'm staying in Rihu Palace, Baja California, specifically, okay, because my shuttle took me to the wrong resort and it pissed me off this morning, well this afternoon, but whatever, because it's a lot of Rios, and apparently it's, not, it's another Rio Palace that they dropped me off at, but Rio Palace, Baja California. Rio Palace, Baja California. That's the one that I'm at. It's an adults only, all inclusive resort. Um really nice it's really modern um really really modern like it's almost brand new it was, was built within like the last few years so it's really really nice um honestly i haven't seen it that much in the daylight um aside from me checking in as soon as i checked in i came to my room and kind of laid around for a bit took a shower you know the whole spiel like i really just was moving slowly and it was a couple reasons for that first of all i started my period today and it's like damn I started my period the first day of my vacation. Boo, tomato, 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 tomato. My period got me feeling a little like drowsy, a little irritable probably. Um, just, I wanna move slower today. So I've been moving kind of slow, but that's one of the best things about um, solo traveling so far for me, even though I've only been here for like not even a whole day, but for me, I just really, um, I like the freedom to really just move how I want to move. Um, when you're going on a trip with somebody and they have like, you know, have an itinerary and everything planned out, it's kind of like you moving in with the plans of moving the same way as everybody else. So being with myself, I don't have to do that. So that's something that I've been trying to like push into my head. Um, because even me, I'm like, I don't want to waste time. Like I'm on vacation, like I want to do everything. But it's like, in reality, like, I need rest, okay? My body needs to rest after this long travel day. And, you know, I was traveling for like nine hours today. Like, my flight was at 8.15. I had to get to the airport by like 6.30 because I had to check my bag. Um, my first flight to Atlanta was, I had to lay over in Atlanta. So my first flight to Atlanta was like two hours, hour and a half, somewhere, somewhere around that. Um, and then I had an hour and a half layover there. Almost missed my flight because they told me I had delayed and then come to find out the delayed this stopped i guess and i was my flight but i made it and then the flight from atlanta to cabo was four four and a half hours or four hours somewhere around there four hours so and then the you know i had to get through customs and check my bag get get my check bag and get in my shuttle and get here so this has been a long day yeah so i'm tired so i'm about to see if they have netflix or something on this tv and get in the bed and start my day tomorrow um now tomorrow i don't have any real plans i do want to go on a clear water boat tour so i'm probably going to look that up tonight and try to book it tonight if i can to go tomorrow at some point 
um but yeah so that's the plan for tomorrow probably and then wednesday that's when i'm doing like most of my excursions so i'm going to go camel riding which i want to try to record um camel riding riding on the beach i'm gonna do atvs and then i'm gonna um do the eco farm because i love animals so i'm gonna do the eco farm and see like the rescue animals that they have and that's gonna be like a whole day thing and then do my covid test and then that thursday i'm gonna be leaving so i'm staying from monday to thursday so march 7th through the 10th um and then friday i have like an interview for another internship opportunity that i might or might not get or take so yeah that's just really my day i really miss my dog I really miss Chico like I love my dog and I'm so sad that I'm not with him um, I am definitely that dog parent that wants to be my dog all the time even though he pissed me off before I left still my guy love him um, so I wish he could have came with me but anyway I digress but I'll check back in tomorrow morning and um, show you all my plans that I made for the day and you can see the fits and the resort and daylight and everything so stay tuned Hey y'all, I am back. Happy, 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 happy Tuesday. Excuse my mess in the background. Yeah, your mama, not me. So, um, I said I was gonna come back day two with you guys, um, or whoever's watching this, you know, because I don't know what I'm going with it yet. But I'm back. Um, my makeup is done, so I look really, really pretty. Thank you. So today is day two, um, Tuesday, um, March 8th. Um, so let me tell you about my day so far. It's only 9.46 um, a.m., which is, uh, so it's probably like 11.46 a.m. in the U.S. where in D.C. or at least that area. So um, let me just give y'all a little overview of what my day has been like so far. So to start off, two things. Hold on, because I'm still sweating a little bit. I just came from outside, so... <sighs> So two things. So first of all, I really like the, this resort, y'all. It's really nice. It's really modern. It's really clean. They have a lot of hand sanitizers, um, stations everywhere. Um, you have to wear your mask, you know, the whole spiel. Um, so it's really nice. It's really nice. I've only been to one of the restaurants so far. I just came back from breakfast from that same restaurant I went to last night. Um, breakfast was really good. They had a really good selection. I had pancakes, bacon, avocado, um, house potatoes, a hash brown, watermelon, and pineapple, and water. So that sounded like a lot, but I didn't have a lot of everything. So I'm pretty full. Um, old me here, all inclusive resort is like ding, 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 grab five plates. But I'm trying to, you know, not do so much with my eating portions anymore, how I usually would. So I'm not doing that this time. But um, yes, food was all really good. Um, so I did take some pictures this morning, and if they made a cut, I might insert them like here. I'm going to take some more pictures outside um, by like some trees or something in this dress because I have on this cute leopard, cheetah, whatever plant um, dress. I got this from Sheen. Sheen, however you want to say it. I say Sheen, but Sheen. Um, so I got this from there. Really cute maxi dress. Um, really lightweight too. And it's not super see-through because of the print. So mm -hmm. that works. Um, cause I don't even have on a bra and you probably can't even tell, but I never wear a bra. So that's not nothing new for me. But yeah, so just last night. So I'm a really anxious person overall, right? So, cause I'm, I am on a solo trip and by myself, um, I'm really anxious. And last night I was super tired. So after dinner, I came back to my room. I was in bed by nine don't care and I had to kind of talk myself out of like talking down to myself about it uh because I was like Libra you on vacation go outside but also it's like I had a long ass travel day like a very 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 long travel day and um I was tired and it was like 9 p.m this time but it was like 11 p.m where I'm from and I'm in the bed way before then so I didn't make myself feel that bad I was like you know what I'll just start again tomorrow so um yeah at like 1 a.m., I get like a knock on my door for room service. And I'm like, but I'm like, y'all didn't get room service. So um, I told you all I, oh, I brought my uh, my door stopper. So 
um it was on my door but i wasn't opening the door regardless because first of all i'm a woman i'm here by myself oh my god y'all i didn't even do my brows and they look so good i just realized i didn't do my brows and they look really good crazy um but yes adhd out the window um but yeah so i'm like i'm not opening the door because i didn't order room service so i'm like who is it they like room service i'm like i didn't order room service they didn't say nothing they stood there for a minute and i seen through the people he had a um a cart so he was probably just at the wrong room but i was like i'm not opening the door so when they i heard him walk away i called them because i was like don't be coming and popping up my room at 1 a.m i don't like that don't do that so i called and he was like oh they went to the wrong room so sorry for waking you whatever whatever but i'm like yeah don't do that i'm a very cautious person and i'm super cautious because i'm here by myself anyway so yeah um so i didn't open the door and i end up going back to sleep like maybe two hours later because i'm not a person that can wake up and just fall right back to sleep i can't do that so um it took me a few hours but i ended up going back to sleep and i woke up again at like 5 30 um which is like 7 30 you know where i'm at where i'm from so um, I usually wake up at 7 30 in the morning every morning so once I was up I was up it is what it is so it took me a little minute and then I finally see my slow morning started and I get a call from the first from the front desk talking about your excursion person is here and they said you're late and they're waiting on you I'm like wait I'm supposed to have excursions tomorrow not even today so I'll go back like okay but they're here so now I feel bad so let me just hurry up and get ready and come downstairs because they're already here, even though this is definitely the wrong day, you know. Um, so I hurry up and do that, get down there, they're gone. Okay, so they called me at like 7.15. I was down there by like 7.28. They left at 7.34. No, 7.24. So I was four minutes late coming downstairs. So I was like, well, they weren't even supposed to come in anyway. So whatever so i called them had my front desk call them and i was talking to them they was like well um yeah he waited for you and you were supposed to be down there i'm like honestly it was the wrong day but i came to her anyway he was like oh man well i'm like what's well, four minutes like can you turn back around it was like well no and then you have to reschedule 24 hours in advance i'm like girl i pay for this so you're either gonna come later today or you're gonna come tomorrow because it's gonna be a problem if you don't you know so then I got put on hold for a little minute and they was like, okay, well, they'll be back tomorrow at the same time to come get you. Can you please be up and ready by then? Like, girl, first of all, don't talk to me like that because y'all messed up. Y'all messed up. And another thing, on their email, they had emailed me like a confirmation and told me to meet them in the Hilton Los, Los Cabos lobby. So I'm like, so I'm going to have to leave my resort and go to another resort to go to their lobby to meet them there. Um, which was wrong because they end up coming here but it was just like y'all already sent me instructions to the wrong place so even if i would have got up tomorrow and be like okay i gotta go to hilton los cabos and i go there super early in the morning and i'm supposed to be here so it's like i don't know whatever so anyway so i'm going to do that tomorrow morning instead so my day is still going how i want it to go so far so yeah i'm about to go and get my tripod here as you can see have my tripod so i'm gonna go outside and find a good spot to take some pictures um because i like the pictures on my balcony but like i said i feel like i need more like i need to give more like this was giving more scenery like of high scenery i need more uh like nature scenery if you feel me so yeah so i'm gonna do that before i change out of this dress and then from there i'll probably put on a swimsuit and go to the pool and um tan probably a little bit and um yeah give me some tan lines going so it's supposed to be 70 today swear to god it feels 80 but yeah swear to god i feel 80 degrees and that's really because of the sun like the sun is really making the difference um but definitely don't feel 70 degrees outside definitely don't feel 70 degrees so now i'm gonna take some more pictures also i'm trying to go to the marina which is not far from me so i can do a clear boat clear water um clear bottom boat tour clear boat tour um where you can see like the fish and stuff under you um but i heard it's cheaper if you just go and try to book it there so i'm going to try to do that um today as well so that is the plan right now so i will keep you guys updated on what's going on i do need to charge my phone for a little bit i brought my fast charger though so it shouldn't take that long and i might fix my lace a little bit before i go too but yeah to be continued all in the sky, ruin my body. Usually, I don't do this often, but since we're cool. Oh, 
okay so i have just changed oh, let me see, turn it okay so i just changed so i'm about to leave out now i got me an uber because cabo has uber i've never been to a mexican um city a city in mexico that has uber um everywhere is always taxi 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 and taxis be taxing okay they name rightfully fits them but um mm, i don't like how dark my lips look He's texting me, talking about perfecto. It's really crazy because I be just having to remind myself, like, bro, you're not in America. Hold on one second. I don't like how my lips look. They look really dark, and I'm not a dark lip kind of girl. I just outline my lips, and then I'll just throw on some new gloss um, on my way downstairs. But, yeah, so I'm about to Uber to the marina which I'm super excited for because I'm trying to find um, if I can get on a clear water, a clear boat tour um, because I didn't book one in like a part of my excursion package. I didn't. So I really need to go and find one. And I heard it's cheaper if you just go down there. So that's what I'm hoping for, basically. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm about to go do. I have on this cute dress here that I got from Sheen, like my whole order. It's cute. And I'm going to bathe the suit under that because I'm probably going to go and um, to the pool later. So, yeah. Let me see if the elevator's working. Because the elevator was out. Um, so the elevator was out when I came earlier to go in the elevator. So, I'm going to try again. Let me just see what it says. Oh, it's open again, I think. Yeah, I think it's up, back up and running. But yeah, window is just open and I love it. I'm just gonna see everything from here. But let me hurry up and go down here. So I'll tell y'all when I get in the car. Video chat or whatever. Back. What is the plan? What do you want to do? I'm just waiting for my tour. Okay. Oh, you go to the clear boat or you back? No, I'm waiting for it. Um, oh, the boat. Yeah. Oh, you're waiting for the boat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is the, the plan? Next this trip. Hmm? You wanna drive jet ski after after that? What do you wanna no, do? No, no jet ski. Jet ski, ATV tomorrow. No, I'm doing that. I'm doing that tomorrow. Okay. Whatever you wanna do, we are ready. What kind, you know what type of fish these are? Yes, this is regular fish. It's Mexican. Okay. Yes. This is mojarra. Mojarra. Mojarras. Yes. Mojarras. Okay. Okay, y'all. Well, I look crazy. It's very very hot though. My wig look crazy. Let me get myself together. Book one, so. Um, right. Vacation? Yeah, vacation. Right. Where? Where are you city? Huh? Where are you city? Where I'm from? Yeah. Miami. Oh, Miami. Mm-hmm. Ah, Miami is best. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. San Lucas. Yes, it's good. I look crazy, but I'm back. Um, I'm about to do a Clearwater, Clearwater boat tour. Um, honestly, can I come on I feel like I can. I feel like there's nobody telling me that I can't, so I can't. That's great. So right now, oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I look horrid. Oh my gosh. Yes, I'm at Yvonne Tours right now to do this clear um, water boat tour. I know I overpaid for it. I for sure um, got talked into overpaying for it, but honestly, it's whatever. Like, I'm really not tripping. I really look crazy and sweaty. My makeup looks crazy. My wig looks crazy. I'll fix it later when I get back to my resort. I know I'm prepared for it, but it's okay because, like, um, everybody in Mexico is not as well off as people in America. And I've learned that from, like, being here so many times. And a lot of them that can handle, which is majority of what it is, um, they do it so they can support their families and stuff. So, I'm not tripping. It is what it is. But I'm excited to do this for my clear boat tour um i think it's gonna be super cool so i'll probably take some pictures uh, while i'm there and on it but i think it's 45 minutes to an hour long so it's pretty long so they're gonna take us around i already seen some sea lions which i was so excited about i just watched a thing on them on national geographic on disney plus i'm a super nerd okay i have been for like the last few days but um yeah so far so good i'm honestly crazy it's crazy to me that i'm still like navigating and doing this alone you know i'm not telling nobody i'm alone i'm telling people i'm with people from my enemy, but you get the point i'm still beautiful in spirit and i'm in paradise so i will check back in with you all when i'm on the boat um right now it is 12 52 so my reservation is at one so i'll be on there pretty 
eso. currently like 1 um 50 almost 2 in the morning and i'm like wide awake because i went to sleep early like i plan on taking a nap and then like i just never i never got back up uh and then right after that i was ready to go back to my hotel i'm um, go, go back to my resort um so i was done with that by like so i left out to do that around 11 then my appointment was at one my reservation that i made with the boat people so that was at one it was about an hour and then when i got off the boat i um i was ready to go back to my resort because i was hungry and i was gonna eat while i was out but i was like you know what i'm here for this all close resort i would just eat um there so yeah so that's what i did um i honestly probably i don't know if i'm gonna eat somewhere outside of the resort honestly i'm supposed to go to do excursion i was gonna say tomorrow but honestly it's today because it's 2 a.m but i was supposed to go do excursions tomorrow so i had to be up super early for that which, yeah my excursion people would be here at seven so i'm gonna get up at like five something just so because i want to eat before i go um but yeah it's gonna be at seven so they'll be here at seven and then i think it takes like an hour to get there and then i will be um start at nine once i'm there and it's a few hours so i'm like i said i'm gonna be doing camel riding atvs and the eco farm um, technically this is my last day in cabo because i leave tomorrow and i'm so sad um because I'm really having, like, a pretty good time here by myself. Um, it's not, like, I mean, I only book four days, which is four days, three nights, because this is my first soul trip. Basically, I didn't want to book too many days and then figure out the first day, like, I think too many days. I don't want to be here that long. Um, also, money add up, and I could have went somewhere for a lot cheaper. Maybe not a whole lot cheaper, but definitely cheaper than what I paid to come here. But like I said, it's all about comfortability for me at the end of the day. Um, so I would rather 
I pay a little bit more and be comfortable for at least for my first time because now after this I'm willing to pay a lot cheaper um because now I feel I'm feeling more comfortable honestly I'm just feeling more comfortable um and I feel like I could definitely do this again like I don't feel like this is a one and done type of experience for me so more solo trips are probably on the way um but yeah definitely will be doing my next one cheaper than i'm doing this one and this is a nice resort and it's like good bang for your buck but you know we like to save money here so so yeah i'm trying to watch this tv special because honestly i can't really watch the tv i have the tv you can see it i have the tv but it's like everything is in spanish for the most part and it's not really like a whole lot of they don't have like the um the Netflix and like Hulu and stuff on the TV, so it's not like, oh, I can just go in there and sign in and just watch some stuff. So, I really been watching stuff on my phone for the most part. I have turned up my TV to look, but like I said, everything is in Spanish, so you know, what can you do? Make sure I break my nail because I lost the nail. I lost the nail yesterday and I don't know where it is, so that's just that on that. But I'm gonna try to go back to sleep um, before I have to get up in a few hours to. Um, get ready for this for this excursion today today also gotta take my COVID test today because I need a COVID test before I can go back in the country so and yeah I will talk to you all when I get up in the morning during daytime and I look like something okay good morning so it is Wednesday it is March 6th I am up it is 6 something in the morning 6.40. My um, drive up to my excursion will be kind of 7.10. So I got like 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. Um, and I'm gonna go grab something to eat really fast. I'm also trying to catch like the sunrise on the water. So hopefully I do. But yeah, it's super early in the morning. Like nobody's awake. The sun haven't, hasn't even fully risen yet. I look really shiny, but that's because I put on my black girl sunscreen. Shout out to them. Um, I didn't put it on like the other two days, so I wanted to make sure I put it on today. Um, I don't think I showed y'all the, um, the resort, so I'm going to show you, but it's not fully bright, but I'm going to show you. And we can ride the book and share that beat of love. I wanna ride the
So yeah, that's that. I need to hurry up and eat something before uh, before my driver's here. So I see they're open, so I'm gonna go do that. Um, it's very cold. Not very, but it's cold enough um, for me to notice that I should probably have a jacket on. So it's okay though. It's okay though. It'll warm up during the day, but it is kind of cold. I'm just up to do my excursion. So you have to put your mask on before you go into the buffet or restaurant, which I get. But it's currently 6.48 and they said they'll be open in 10 minutes. I leave at like 17, so I might not even have time to eat because, yeah, so they're not even open right now. And they should be, like they don't even have the rope up, so they definitely should be open, but it's whatever, so. I do my best to do my best. Coffee? No, I'm good. Thank you. No, I'm good. Thank you. But yeah, I wish they were, I wish they were over so I could just grab my food, eat, and then leave because I have to leave for my excursion. This sticks in the morning. They're probably opening like seven, but regardless, I'm hungry now. And I didn't come back down from my room last night to eat like I wanted to. I fell asleep, like I told y'all. So. I guess I'll just go watch the sunrise. So, I will do that. So I can't eat, I will go and watch the sunrise. I feel like I've only been using my resort to its full potential a little bit. Like I said, it's more chill, so it's not a whole lot, whole lot to, to do and be exploring, but I'm fine with that. But still, it's like, I feel like, you know, I've been about <laughs> sleep a lot but rest is just as important don't want to tell y'all wrong rest is just as important i still have come to watch over my um come and sit and i tanned yesterday so yeah i have not touched the sand yet and i won't tell later <laughs> but i have not touched the sand yet because sand is messy sand is very messy and if you ain't really ready to deal with some sand for real for real don't go to the sand. Oh, look at the sun. Um, so pretty. So, so pretty. But just to give y'all another view of what I'm looking at here.
their productions are gonna get imbalanced with the market. For example, to create this paper, I just draw this way. Gamma book and this shredded paper. That reduces my. Today we're going to have a camel ride. Remember the style of the camel or double. So choose your partner and ready to rock and roll. I recommend you to stay together with the one you like and go away from the one you don't like. <laughs> okay, um, also beside the camel ride, we're going to have a photo session. We got a real nice camel. I call that camel the easy one. Easy. The easy one. You know, you even have to buy a coffee. We are here. <laughs> Oh, they're humongous. They're so large. So please match the correct number blocker with the correct number key. And after that, come with me because this game is party as much as I originally intended but I've been doing the best that I can with what I got okay I really just been trying to live in the moment and really um, reevaluate why I came here because I think I kind of got overshadowed with some other stuff that I was dealing with um, along the way this is where I am now beautiful 
I just got the photo bomb, well, video bomb, but it's okay. The sun has set. And would you believe this is the first time that I've come to the beach since I've been here? Like, I've came to, like, the resort, like, the pools and stuff. I haven't gotten a pool. I don't think I will get a pool, to be honest, but um, I'm fine with that. Totally fine with that. Totally fine with that. But I really wanted to come to the beach. So, I had a very beautiful day. I did all my excursions today, and I did record some of those. And I did get um, the video in the picture, so I will insert them um, at some point around when I'm showing the excursion video. So, y'all will see them. But it was super fun. Um, funny enough, the... It was a big group of black girls that I was in a group with to do my excursion. And like these two white guys, very random. But like two of the girls was also from Detroit, which was really weird, um, really crazy, not weird. It was really crazy. Um, they were both living in Atlanta, but um, they were from Detroit. So we talked a little bit, but you know, not a whole lot. Um, it wasn't like a, oh, we from Detroit, let's all just intermingle type of thing, which is most Detroiters do. Um, but I would have been fine if it happened. I wasn't pushing it or anything, but it was cool to meet them. Um, and we had a good time doing the excursions. Um, but yeah, today is my last day, my last night. I'm leaving tomorrow. Um, now the shuttle is supposed to come get me tomorrow at 11. I've been having a lot of shuttle bad luck. I'm not gonna lie. I've been having a lot of shuttle bad luck. Like a whole lot. Like my shuttle that was supposed to come my excursions didn't show up i had to uber to my excursion place so i can get the shuttle to the place it was just crazy but i digress i'm not about to get all worked up about that i just have fingers crossed that they show up when they're supposed to show up tomorrow or i'm gonna be pissed period yeah i'm i honestly had a really good time i wish i wish i wish i wish i wish i book more days um to be here i only book three nights um four days three nights because i was kind of nervous um this was my first solo trip you know more to come like i said because i did have a good time by myself but um yeah i just really didn't want to be super anxious and then realize later on like oh my god this is a terrible idea i'm anxious, super anxious the whole time like i'm ready to go home and i have all these days left you know even though i had high hopes but i was still in disbelief up until i got to my resort and checked into my room so when i was talking to people about it um or talking to my therapist and they'll be like are you excited and i'm just like i mean it don't feel like it's really happening to be honest like it really didn't hit me until it really didn't hit me until i got here and checked into my room like i said so it's just been a whole crazy experience like i definitely noticed some things that i could definitely do differently next time um but that's what the, the point of the whole process of just like living your life for you and like really figuring stuff out on your own and like what you like and what you don't like because everything is trial and error you know it's getting darker as i'm speaking which is nuts but it's all about trial and error and i just really wanted to end this trip on a positive note not just wishing and hoping i would have stayed longer like it is what it is at this point but i really did have a good time like i'm really proud of myself and i think i had like a breakthrough moment funny enough when i was doing atvs <laughs> because i was doing like a hundred miles an hour on these atvs and these sand dunes with sand blowing in my face could barely see and i was still like you know what labria you are a baddie for doing this look at this and i was just like screaming and nobody can hear me because we're all doing 80 in this in the middle of the desert but i'm just like talking to myself and i'm just having like this breakthrough moment that I didn't really expect to have while I was here because honestly I was pushing everything back in when I would feel things. Um, is that a car? Is that the Grim Reaper? I'm here at the water, even though it's dark. They can't see a whole lot. I did it, y'all. I took my first solo trip 2022. I'm 24. It was supposed to happen 2021 and it didn't, but that's okay because I did it regardless and i'm going to continue to do it because i'm living my life for me on my own journey and walking my own path period so let me go back up here because y'all can't see me anyway uh because it's getting darker and darker like i said but shout out to good spirits this good margarito and good vibe so we're here we're here baby we're here <laughs>